this is another down and dirty tutorial. What I wanted to do was uh, key some video I shot into iClone, and uh, I'm sure there's a much easier way to do it than the way I have done it, uh, especially I think if you have the uh, pop video converter from iClone, probably makes this process much easier because there are some issues doing it this way, but these are the steps I used to uh, get video into iClone. Now, I happen to use uh, Sony Vegas Pro, and uh, this is the uh, newer version, I believe, of Sony Vegas. This is my video clip here. Not shot very well at all. Uh, you notice a lot of pretty bad green. Uh, color correction's a bit off here, and we've got some uh, cropping we probably need to do. So that's something I'm going to do in my nonlinear program, and uh, Vegas makes that relatively easy. I'm going to crop out by just creating a mask to mask out these portions that I won't be using and don't need. And I'll create another mask here. Now my actress starts to walk off at one point, but uh, I don't, I'm not going to use the clip at that point, so I think we're okay there. So I've created a mask, masked out that. Here's the clip again, and I probably won't be wording with the audio. Here, so I'm going to take the audio audio out, and she walks, but then I'm going to cut it there. Okay, so that's our clip. Uh, we've masked out now areas we really don't want a key, and now let's uh, drag in our uh, chroma key plug-in, and this version of uh, Vegas has a new chroma keyer called uh, HitFilm, using the HitFilm chroma keyer, which is pretty nice. Uh, let me size this where we can see what we're doing here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm not going to, this isn't a lesson on keying, but uh, we'll just uh, do a quick down and dirty key here. I'll take a look at our mat, and we'll make some adjustments for that, and get that looking halfway decent for our purposes here. But uh, once again, you can spend a great deal of time keying in uh, any key program and it takes a little bit of time to get something pretty good usually and for our purposes we got a little spot there I'm not going to work too much about it basically now we've got our key cut and we're looking at the mat which is going to be important because I'm going to render the mat out and there is the result now another thing uh, which you can do in most all programs is to once you've got your key you can add a few more plugins, and I'm gonna. You may not be able to see these. And I'm gonna add some plugins to adjust the color and uh, correct some of those color problems that I had. And uh, right here, I'm gonna pop my saturation up a little bit, and I'm going to adjust my uh, levels a little bit. So I, I usually tend to tweak those a bit here while I'm in my nonlinear and get the uh, color looking good and correct some of those color mistakes that I had and once again you can tweak a great deal once you've got a good key. Uh, okay so there is basically the result of our key and what I'm going to do render this out if you choose and you can call this the result and then I'm going to render out the mat. So I'm going to render two files and then we'll go over into iClone. And what I've done, I've rendered out a, uh, some Windows Media files. Uh, they're not great. AVIs would probably be a little sharper, but they will tax uh, your system a little harder too. So you need to be aware of that. So you can experiment with the type of file that you can render out. Of course, iClone will only accept a few versions right now. So uh, here's our file. Now for some reason, uh, when I render a Windows Media, First frame tends to be black or so. Uh, not a big deal. You won't render that probably anyway. So there's our clip uh, against the uh, black background, which was basically inherent in the uh, timeline of Vegas Pro. Okay, so now we want to try to key it. So what we're going to do now is go over to our opacity texture and navigate to where your uh, mat is, because as I said, I rendered two files. One... Uh, the result and the other the mat and we'll use that notice it'll turn clear 
and now you have a key. Uh, it's certainly not a great key at this point in time, but uh, a key nonetheless. And obviously, as you get closer, it's going to start breaking up because it is a bitmap. So you typically want to keep your uh, elements far enough away from the camera uh, that they won't cause a problem. Uh, another thing you'll want to do, you'll notice that you have a uh, edging issue here, uh, which is a result of the thickness. And so uh, we will adjust this y-axis. I prefer to call it the z-axis in other programs, but for some reason my clone calls it the y-axis. So that'll help that a little bit. Still have some issues around here, as you can see, maybe uh, some edging issues which uh, I probably could have fixed, I think, in uh, Vegas. But uh, we do have an adjustment we can make uh, here if we uh, turn on our alpha channel. And typically, you'll see you can adjust that key and tighten it up a little better. So that's a nice thing to be able to do, as you can see there, right, like so. So it'll help us with that edging of our key. It's a little better. Okay. Now, some of you may want to try to utilize the billboard. And the billboard has its certainly has pluses, uh, but also its minuses. It's not sized, so you might need to adjust its size. So uh, let's work with the billboard just to show you uh, what you can do with that. Okay, let's start from the beginning here. We've got our billboard. Now you notice the billboard always faces your camera, no matter where you turn your camera, the billboard's facing. So that might be a nice feature if you're doing some keying. So uh, let's uh, see if we can get this sized correctly or close to our video. So let's drag our uh, videos. I'm gonna hold down the control key. I may not have mentioned that last time. Hold down the control key, drag the video into iClone. And now I'm going to uh, center that up, and let's make sure the billboard is centered as well. Uh, I'm going to uh, slide that back just a little. There we go. Okay. Now, down in Dirty Way, I'm just going to hit the uh, scaling tool and size the billboard as close as I can kind of tell to my video. You can always scale it some different ways once you've got it done, but that's one quick way uh, to do it. And uh, so now I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to delete that for now. And once again, I'm going to, uh, this time I'm just going to drag the result of our key onto our billboard and notice it is facing the camera very nicely. So now select the billboard again and go down and let's use uh, load in that opacity map. And there we are. And now we've got it in notice. Now it will face anywhere the camera's going. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but one thing I noticed, you don't have control anymore of that alpha channel and tweaking the edges when you use this particular method. So I wasn't totally happy utilizing the billboard. Uh, I'm assuming uh, there may be a, a way around that, but I haven't seen it yet. So that's one reason I don't necessarily use the billboard, because uh, you don't have any more adjustment that you can really make uh, to that key. And it's kind of nice to be able to have that adjustment utilizing the method I did, which was simply holding down the control key, dragging your video out, and then once again selecting your opacity map and playing it. And now you will have adjustment capability when you uh, do your alpha threshold. You can tweak it a little bit. So it gives you a little more adjustment so that's why I kind of prefer and so once again you do have to watch where your camera is placed uh, you don't want to turn your camera way around off axis without adjusting your players as well which you can of course do it's just not automatic like it might be with the billboard so there you have it down and dirty keying in iClone
Hope it helped.